Hi everyone, I'm going to be showing you how to arrange our faux winter berry arrangement in this tutorial. Um, and I'm going to be using our laburnum vase for this. Uh, this is 27 centimetres tall, by about 22 wide, with a neck opening of 13 centimetres. Beautiful proportions for an arrangement like this that's quite full. Um, so yeah, this is a winter berry, so there's loads of berries. We've got the, the bluey toned berried eucalyptus, even with the berries on the juniper stems, and obviously the white berries, and then the buds from the pussy willow. So you've got these like lovely kind of grayy, bluey, white toned Christmas festive kind of colors coming through there, which I love for winter. Um, so I'm going to start by actually using the juniper stems. So these have a lovely weight to them. Um, and you just wanna take a few seconds just to pull out all of the lovely side shoots on this because they create a really nice kind of volume as well as this movement. I don't know if you can kind of see that on camera, but they do just, they kind of move lovely and they make that lovely connection with kind of the bottom of the bar, uh, the neck of the vase. So we've got three of those. Don't need to bend these at all. They're actually the perfect height for the laburnum. Um, I had these on as shelf styling actually. I literally just had one stem in the laburnum on our sideboard and it just looks so effective, just when you don't want a, a, like a cluttered sideboard, just very simple statement. So another one gone in there, and then one at the back, just teasing those branches out, like so. Nice base to work with then. It's gonna hold all of our stems really beautifully as well. Um, then we've got two stems of our faux green eucalyptus, still one of my favourite ever stems. It's real touch, it's just so realistic. Um, and again, just spread out the branches and just going to have a little measure up as to where I think this kind of needs to be. So I want probably my highest point to be about there. Um, so I'm just going to bend at that point like that and then we can pop that in. And then same again with the next um, green uke stem. Maybe have this one ever so slightly lower, around about there. You can see how they just go in so easily with the junipers at the start and just kind of feed the branches through out the juniper just to make it all feel very natural. Um, and then next up, I'm gonna pop in our white berry branch so these are the seconds um, that you'll receive in your um, arrangement. They've just got a few imperfections in them, but they look so striking once they're in the arrangement. So I'm gonna have one kind of about that height, I think. And then the other one, oh, I've already got it bent from a previous arrangement. Yeah, about there actually, which is a good height. So yeah, quite a, quite a big bend in this one. And just have those branches kind of coming out the other way. I'm just gonna turn this towards me so I can see a little bit better for a second. And you can do it standing right in front of your arrangement, but I'm just trying to show you whilst I'm doing it. Yeah, something about there. Uh, then I'm going to pop in our beautiful buried eucalyptus, winter buried eucalyptus, um, with these gorgeous uh, seed heads on them. So really nice height actually as they are. So I might just leave them all at full height because that's a nice low point for those to be in. And then maybe this one up here. So you're just kind of trying to disperse them throughout the arrangement a bit, a bit kind of naturally random so that they feel very realistic. And maybe this one up here. And because we've got so many stems now in here, Obviously the bottom of this stem isn't touching the bottom of my vase, but it doesn't matter because when I let go, it's staying there because of the support from 
all the other stems because they're all quite voluminous. Um, and then last, but by no means least, are our um, three pussy willow stems. Um, so these are great. They've got three kind of branches on them. And what I like to do with these is wiggle, just, I don't know, just put them into a nice wiggly shape. It just makes them look really realistic. Kind of like that um, compared to that. It just suddenly, they look so different. Um, so I'm just gonna, again, have these in at different points so that you can really see these lovely grayy soft buds on it. And it's just started raining outside. I absolutely love hearing the rain on our Velux windows. It's just very relaxing. Again, this one over this side and just making sure that I'm not clumping them together. We're not creating any kind of lines like within the arrangement so that your eye gets drawn to something in particular. Maybe this one towards the front. You don't want to poke anyone's eye out, but you can. And just having that, well, that one forward just gives it a nice different You've got different points of the, the highest pussy willow stems. So I'm just going to take a big step back from that and make sure that I'm happy with the arrangement as a whole. I've just got a bit of a gap. I don't know if you can see here where my white berries are. So I just need a bit of the eucalyptus to come in. More like that. Like so. Much happier with that. Have a little tweak and maybe a little style. I'm just going to bring in our very cute ceramic acorns. So you've got a tall and a small. They come as a little set of two. Um, and then maybe on the other side, I do like a big candle with my arrangements. And this is our very own brand new uh, pine and winter berry. So yeah, I obviously wouldn't light it under there. <laughs> so do be mindful. Um, but yeah, that's, that's our gorgeous winter berry um, arrangement. I hope you enjoyed watching and I'll see you again soon.